Welcome to today's 3D print. Just a little bit of an update of what's going on. I made Maker Coins. Having loads of fun with the SLA printer. Learn the hard way that you cannot print stuff big, flat against the bed. It sticks way too damn hard. I ripped this bugger apart, chiseling it off the print bed. So don't do that. So these I printed with support and on their edge. That allowed me to do four at a time, five at a time, but one of them came out goofy. I have to add a few more supports. It was wiggling around as it was printing. Giant rockets coming, six feet tall. I also got this airbrush kit, which works very well for cleaning off resin parts and getting all the resin off the part before you cure it with the UV light, which is important. I also have a bit of an update on batteries coming. That orange thing right there is a portable power supply that has USB 12 volt, 110 volt, and it also acts as a UPS. Very cool. Printing out more Maker Coins. Lizard Wizard, the guy who made the audio for my intro outro, made a simple elephant, an elegant elephant, so I have a video on that coming soon. Got an upgrade for the TiVo Tornado, a larger, higher torque stepper motor that's still NEMA 17 so that I can handle my little layer shift problems that I have. Thank you to Jade Key, Jimmy Pop 57 he sent me a maker coin and a wicked roll of filament in this color. Awesome! You can never have too much orange filament. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's always fascinating to discover new failure modes. This entire stack failed. And you're thinking, hey, layer shift, right? Nope. The wire got caught underneath the corner of the print printer frame, so it jammed on the wire. This one also had a failure. It stopped printing the legs for the BFR, the giant one. So I'm printing just the actual pieces of the legs to glue onto here, because that's a lot of filament. How did this one fail? This got jammed in this. So it got jammed up. How weird is that? And coming soon, V2 of the pencil crossbow. There's all the parts printed. Thank you for, what is that, Medellis 3D. He's the one who provided the links for this on his Facebook channel. Sadly, the Maker Juice resin's going back to Amazon because it doesn't work with the DLP. It takes too much exposure time that goes beyond the two minute firmware limit to work. So this is only good for the um, the Form 2, the Form 1, Form 2 printers. If all goes as planned, it looks like I will be going to Murph, so um, hopefully that will go through, and hopefully I'll get to see some of you guys there. It's a little treat for people who are going to show up there. First, I got Maker Coins. I'm making Maker Coins, so if anybody brings a Maker Coin, I'll swap you. And then, I got a little cool little giveaway I'm going to have there. Yeah, this is going to be neat. Do you see what this is? This is my Nanite Swarm that's going to take over the world. It is a whole mess of little micro Joel bots. Look at that. It's a whole mess of them. Little itty bitty micro Joel bots. This is 90 of them. <laughs> Peak Peak. I've been working on getting the Sorceress printed on the resin printer. I'm having problems with holes. And I have got most of that figured out because I want to make this hollow so it doesn't use so much resin. And I figured out the whole issue. It has to do with cure time, so stay tuned for more on that. What the heck, let's have ourselves a look at the latest Maker Box just came in today. Mmm, dewy sweet tarts. A new sticker. So we have architectural clay. That's cool. It's got clay powder in it. I like these kinds of filaments. They tend to be a royal pain in the ass to work with, but the results are usually really cool. That's from Treed. In Dr. 3D, we have an ABS polyamide nylon mix. That's interesting. A glass a hardened nozzle required. Glass fiber filled polypropylene. That's interesting. Very stiff for functional prototypes. PET packing tape on the bed. That's cool. And ooh, protopasta copper. Now that's going to be fun to play with. It's their HTPLA mix with copper powder. And it's heavy. Very, very cool. So there's this Mud Staker box. 
I like MakerBox. You just get cool fill bits to play with. I got like 20 boxes that I still haven't opened. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've opened them, but I haven't played with the filaments yet. So they are very cool. For now, you guys stay tuned. I have a review. The build was destroyed. The same camera problem that destroyed my FL Sun resin build. Um, but I'll have a initial um, thoughts and review on the QQ Cricket from FL Sun. I'm very much enjoying that printer. I also have the TiVo Michelangelo coming soon, so stay tuned for that in the coming weeks. And that's it. I'll see you guys later.